Hey everybody, it's Angie. I wanted to do a couple of quick product reviews for you today. Um, I picked up a couple things at uh, Walgreens the other day and um, one of them I hate and one of them I absolutely love. So if you watched my Laura Mercier product review video, um, you know that I was only sort of medium satisfied with that. I'm on the hunt for a foundation that looks good on my older skin and um, I was watching some other YouTube gurus who recommended a Revlon Photo Ready foundation. I was trying to find something that was much less expensive than the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Compact uh, to replace that and I haven't returned it yet but I might if I find something that you know wears as nicely and looks as good. So um, anyway I went out and I was looking for the Revlon Photo Ready that I had seen on YouTube and of course I didn't write down the exact name of it but I thought that there was only one Revlon Photo Ready so I walk up to the Photo Ready display and oh my gosh there are like four different formulations of Revlon Photo Ready sort of liquid foundation. So then I was stumped. I couldn't remember which one I was supposed to get but I sort of had a shadowy memory in my mind that it was sort of a puffy, maybe moussey kind of one. So then I saw this one and I thought, oh, that's the one. So I bought it. So this is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Mousse Makeup, and this is in color 30 Nude. So I picked this up and brought it home, and I put it on today for the first time, and I cannot tell you how much I hate it. Um, I had on a primer, so, you know, potentially this should have gone on pretty you know, nice and smooth and even and made my uh, skin look pretty good. The first thing that I didn't like about it was I turned it over to read, you know, the ingredients and the instructions and right on the back it's got this giant warning about how flammable it is and there's so much flammability information on here that that's all they had room for on the back of the packaging. You actually have to lift up a flap to see the ingredients or how to apply it. It probably has to do with the foaming, moussing action, but, you know, it makes me wonder, do I really need the, this harsh of chemicals going on my skin? Probably not. Um, the other thing is that it's hard to control how much is coming out of here. Now, um, you know, I just, I don't really use a lot, so I didn't want a big puffer of it, but just to get, like, a tiny, uh, uh, the instructions, I couldn't tell if you were supposed to shake it or not, so I kind of shook it up a little bit just to see, you know, I wasn't sure, so I'm like, all right, well, I'll shake it because it doesn't say and I tried to get just the tiniest little bit and when I did whew, you know you get a lot I mean this is like twice as much as I would ever use to put on my face and so it's really hard to control how much you're getting out of there now what am I gonna do with this while I do the rest of the video hold on alright so I saved a little bit just so I could swatch it for you and um, sorry I have some other swatches going on back here because I was at Sephora today looking at some stuff but let me just put it right on the back of my hand and rub it in you can see what the color looks like and sorry that it's going over other things but there's a lot of primer on the back of my hand I was looking for a new eye primer so compared to my regular hand so that is what it looks like when it's on Okay, and this smells so bad, I can't even tell you. It smells like a combination of, um, you know, like when you leave a towel wet on the bathroom floor and it gets a little mildewy. It smells like mildewy towel in the bathroom combined with, like, sweaty gym socks. So when you have that on your face and it's wafting up into your nose, ugh disgusting. The worst part about it is how it looked on my face and how it wears. Now um, I put it on, I worked out this morning so I was kind of late getting showered and dressed. I think I finally put on my makeup at like 11 o'clock this morning and it is about 3 30 right now so 11, it's been four and a half hours that I've had this on with a primer and I feel like it's almost completely worn off already. So it definitely is not um, long wearing. I would think that you would want your makeup to last more than four hours it's ridiculous now the really bad thing about it is that it made my skin crepey in the weirdest weirdest place um, I usually don't have any crepiness like over here on the side of my cheek I may have blemishes and like zits going on there but I usually don't have any you know like wrinkles that show and um, when I was at Sephora I kind of turned and looked 
you know, at the side of my face in the mirror. And even with my eyes that uh, everything is blurry, it wasn't even a magnifying mirror, I could see that there was this like freaky crepiness over here. And I was like, ah, what is that? Um, the girl wanted to take this makeup off me and put something else on me and try to sell me something. I said, you know what? I'm just going to go home and take this off. Well, I kept it on long enough to make the video. I think I'm going to go upstairs and wash this off pretty soon, actually. But let me just come in close so you can see. And this light may be a little bit too bright. And other makeups that I've used, including that Laura Mercier one, did not cause that to happen on my face. So, you know... This is definitely going back to the store. Now, the second product that I bought this week, and this is something that I am absolutely in love with, and I would have invented this myself if I had been just a little more clever and driven to do that. But um, I saw this at, um, I think I was at Walgreens the other day, and, and look what it is. It's a tiny little spatula so that you can get the last bits of product out of the uh, bottle or tube. Now I am very frugal and if I'm spending $30 or even in my case uh, 15 because I buy it at Costco on one ounce of product um, you know when the pumper doesn't let you get any more out of this there's still a quarter inch of product in the bottom of it. You know usually what happens is when I'm down to where the pumper doesn't work anymore, I take this out, and I do this, I take that and I rub that on my hand, I get it out that way, then I put it back in and I swirl it around so that I can get even more and I put it out. You know, it's very tedious and time consuming. And then when I can't get any more that way, then I start like pounding it on my hand to get some more out and then I'll get like a little slick of it. You know, it's just a little spatula and you stick it in there and this scrapes the bottom, this scrapes the sides, and this scrapes up under the shoulders of things where a lot of product gets caught. This is like, this is like for me, two or three uses. So I'm actually going to put it back in there. But I just wanted to show you how much extra product you can get out of the bottle. I mean, if I can get another week of use out of something, you know, by using this, that's great. And this was $3.99, so well worth the, um, well worth the price. So those are my two little products that I wanted to show you today. I'm sorry for the harsh light. It's a really gray day outside and it's snowing. And so I had to do some artificial lighting. So there's lots of shadows and, you know, lots of really... So thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.